All right, what's up guys? So this is gonna be the review video for the test coming up on Wednesday. The test is gonna have 50 questions. It's gonna cover um, all the stuff we lectured over. Uh, I'm gonna go over a couple things I think you guys need to focus on and some of the things we might not have covered in class. I think Ms. Dean put a, uh, a study guide out, so I'm gonna kinda touch on that study guide as well. So let's get started. All right, for number one, I want you guys to remember for the drug map that we had today, remember that it is volume, over time times the drip factor. Number two, remember the PCOT. That PCOT is for questions and research. Remember we talked about research today in, in a lecture. So remember the P is gonna be for the population or the patient. I is gonna be for the intervention. C is gonna be uh, for the uh, comparison or control. O is gonna be for the outcome. T is gonna be for the time of the intervention and for that, uh, for, to achieve the outcome. So the time is for the, how long it takes for that intervention uh, to, to get the desired outcome. So P-I-C-O-T. Next, what I want you to remember is the five step nursing research process. Now, don't, I mean, we went through ADPI and all of that, but this is a little bit different. Five steps in a research process that you guys need to know. And those five steps are, one, you gotta define the problem. Two, you gotta develop a plan. Three, you gotta collect the data. Four, you gotta analyze. And five, you have to take action. Next, guys, we're gonna talk about the PLISSIT model. That's gonna be P-L-I-S-S-I-T. -S -S and that is in regards to sexual health. Um, that was probably on Miss Dean's study guide that she had over sexuality. Um, we didn't cover that much today, but I do wanna cover that really, really quick. So there's four steps in the PLISSIT model. Number one, you gotta create space for the patient, meaning that you need to you need to allow them to, to verbalize to you about what's going on. Number two is once the patient IDs a concern, then the provider can give targeted info to that regarding the sexual health issue. Number three, a differential diagnosis is offered with suggestion. And number four, if necessary, then a referral can be made to uh, other sexual health specialists if need be. So guys, look over that Plissett model. I can't get into too detail with it right now because I'm limited on time, but just look over it and make sure you kind of understand it for this test. Next thing you need to understand is the pressure ulcer staging. Know the difference in full thickness, partial thickness. Understand that pressure ulcer staging. Next, I want you to review the different things we went over in lab as far as injections, for sub-Q injections, IM injections, the different needles and sizes, know that, know how we give proper injections, uh, know, the, know the anatomical sites as well. Also know what hypertonic solutions are, what isotonic solutions are, and understand those pretty deeply. And I also want you to understand the uh, safety and, and housing. You know, how will you set up a patient like we talked about today in lecture about, uh, you know, when we went over the, uh, the nursing care plan on that case study today in lecture, how we set up, like we talked about her home may have some, uh, some things in her home that might not be like throw rugs, things like that. Look into that and think about how you will, you know, educate her and what what are some interventions that you can do in the home to actually provide a safe environment in her home. All right, guys, so to recap, we have the math question. Remember, we went over that today. Remember volume over time times the drip factor. No PICOT, P-I-C-O-T, understand that model. Pressure ulcer staging and the healing stages. Understand the partial thickness, understand the uh, full thickness type of wounds. Understand the five step research process, isotonic and hypertonic solutions. If you focus on those things in this review and understand that, you're gonna start seeing where these case studies start making sense, especially on the test on Wednesday. I want you guys to kind of focus your studying in. Uh, you have all the info. We've given you all the info now. Now you just need to start practicing test questions, uh, doing test questions over and over again, and making sure you're kind of internalizing how all this stuff works. That's pretty much it for the test. I want you guys to study hard. I want you guys to be out there. I want you to be practicing these questions all this information that I, I just gave you. I need you guys to keep practicing questions regarding this information. It's gonna help you on the test. Uh, find, find as many test questions as you can find somewhere online, bookstores, wherever you need to go. You've heard me preach this over and over again about doing test questions. Try to find as many test questions related on these topics as you can find. It'll help you give a get a broad view of everything. That's pretty much it. I hope this, this uh, video helps you guys out. Uh, let me know in class, send me an email, if you got any questions other than that review this video if you need to to focus in on your studying have a good one